Thomas, 3-1 win here uh, at Norwich. How would you assess the team's performance today? Um, I think we had an overall decent performance um, throughout the game. Uh, um, I think, the, uh, yeah, actually, offensive and defensive, we have a, had, had a big focus on the defensive part throughout this uh, season, the desire to defend. And there were some spells in first half and second half where Norwich, we know they're good on the ball, where we defended well. Um, and we gave very, very few chances away throughout the game. All the, on the ball, especially the first half, I think we were really, really good um, in terms of finding the patterns we want to find. Um, if we trust the position, we could outplay uh, Norwich. Uh, and second thing um, uh, in the game, I think our ca- counter-attacking was um, fast and dangerous. We created chances. So overall, a good performance. Uh, still bits we need to do better. Um, I like us to keep all, the ball more in certain situations. And I like us to be even better and more aggressive in, in the duels when we're going. Uh, but it was, it was hot out there today. Um, a friendly is never quite the same as a competitive game, but you conceded the first goal and yet hit back straight away. Is that, 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 must, give, that must say something about the team. No, yeah, I think in general there is um, already um, from this, the beginning of the season and taking from, taking from last season into this season the, the togetherness and this the, the belief in, in, in the boys out there so it's nice to see that mentality is, is, is ongoing and we are, uh, you're still building on it You came up here as you mentioned on Saturday for, for a couple of days you've been up here for a little while doing some extra training what, what did you get out of those extra two or three days away? Uh, I think it was important we like to split the pre-season up so we got, went eight days to Austria and then we have three good days down here you know so it's just to have more time together with the players, with the staff, uh, also a little bit of a team building. So the players went out uh, and did a, a, a small activity yesterday afternoon, and, and and had a dinner for themselves, and the staff had a dinner for themselves, and you know all those bits that yet you need to the small. Uh, margins in between everything in this togetherness we are so proud of in this club we need to use time on that so uh, it was good and then of course quality football sessions um, the, the nature of modern football is that you never have a first 11 there's players coming in and out for, for different games but are you quite close in your head to knowing who would be your team for the first day of the season if it was tomorrow uh, yeah I'm closer uh, I would say uh, it's not 100% set um, in any way but of course you know this was the fourth no fifth uh, friendly for in the um, in the pre-season so you're getting closer and closer um, and I think we have a good good idea on Saturday potentially let's see next two days can decide a lot of things of course I've got, got a few players to, to mention that fans would have would have seen about either that, that weren't involved if we start one with um, a couple that that came off Rico Henry came off inside the first half and Sergio Canos only on only at half time uh, was there anything specific about those players no like we know we'll use the first five games also to make sure everybody gets this a good amount of minutes of playing minutes so we need to balance that off so Sergio was already decided before 45 minutes Rico got a you know contact to the angle so we just protect him in rest him in a little bit um, so that is um, Henry had a minor issue with the hip no problem if we played a championship game he would have played but this is the moment we could um, give him a little rest uh, Romain was just you know we need to balance the minutes he played a lot of minutes throughout the preseason so so that was it with the players was here yeah Thomas a quick change of location while we duck out from the uh, from the sprinklers but two other players who um, who you didn't mention there um, Saeed uh, Ben Rama and Neil Malpai can you just give us an update on those two yeah um, Saeed did a rehab back at the club uh, he's getting closer and closer to to join the group hopefully can he do that tomorrow or Friday. Neil Mopay, we know there's speculation around him, so we thought it was the best just to focus on the guys um, we took to Norwich. So you've got um, Wednesday the game at Norwich, you've got Thursday, Friday ahead of a game against Bournemouth on on Saturday. It feels like a very, very intense period. Was that the way it was planned? Yeah, it was planned. Um, we wanted that. Uh, we wanted the two games we played last week to get close to 90 minutes. And then this game we balanced, as you can see, some played 60, some played 45. Um, and then we can go again and, and, and play a lot of guys 90, 75 minutes on, on Saturday and then we're ready to go. Saturday is the first of our last season at Griffin Park. We mentioned a few times about what that's what that's going to mean, but for for a lot of fans, it'd be sort of the, the first, so the last preseason friendly, the first, perhaps even their last ever game for for some of them. So it it, it means something, doesn't it? Yeah, it means massively. We are looking so much forward to come back at at Griffin Park, even if it's a friendly. Um, we know it's. It's, it's, it's going to be um, in many ways a great season no matter what because it's a final season at Griffin Park. We need to make it, make it magical. Uh, we do everything we can every day to work very, very hard towards those games. And we all know how much we all 
players, staff, everybody just enjoys so much to play at Griffin Park.